Hey guys, what's up? Zane from Fresh and Salty Fishing here. Today, instead of fishing, I'm gonna be cooking the fish that I caught. Recently, I caught some two pretty good sized stripers. I'm gonna show the pictures right now. Today, I'm gonna be cooking those. This is one of my favorite recipes to cook them. I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's gonna be really delicious. I'm gonna quickly go over what ingredients you'll need to make this recipe. You're gonna need four spices and mango juice for the sauce. I have this naked mighty, mighty mango juice. And then you're gonna need some cumin, cloves, bay leaves, and some cayenne pepper. Now for the, for the actual batter of what I'm gonna make, which is gonna be sweet chicken nugget, or fish nuggets, you're gonna need eggs, coconut flakes, sweetened is better, but it'll do it if it's not sweetened, buttermilk, tapioca flour, regular all-purpose flour, and of course, some fish. Okay, before you start cooking it all, what you wanna do is make sure you have your fish chopped into nugget sized pieces, so two to four inches, that's pretty much preference. And you want some buttermilk, so you put your fish in a bowl, and what you wanna to do is pour some buttermilk in so all the fish are covered in it. And you're gonna to wanna to let that soak for at least 10 minutes, but up to 20, 30 minutes is good. The longer the better. Okay guys, so now that we have that fish soaking in that buttermilk, I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. Pretty much, first you want to get the Mighty Mango Juice from, I like this brand, Naked Mighty Mango Juice, it's really good. Um, and you want to just pour that in a uh, pan or bowl. And you just want to let that boil until all the water evaporates out of it so it gets to a really thick uh, sauce. And that could take a couple hours, so this is the longest part. You're just going to let that sit, and then later on we'll add some spices to that. So next up in a shallow dish like this, you're going to want your tapioca flour, coconut flakes, and some eggs. Okay, then in that shallow dish, you want to add about one to one of tapioca flour and um, coconut shavings. Now, there's no exact measurement, just kind of eyeball it, it doesn't really matter. Now, mix that up. You can also add a little sugar to this mix if you want a little bit of sweeter, uh, sweeter nuggets. And then next up in here, we're going to add about six to seven eggs. There. You're just going to want to mix that up until you get, get the right texture and uh... And then, just, okay guys, next up you're going to take a separate dish, another shallow dish. Just get some all-purpose flour, some regular bread flour. And you're just going to pour some of that in and get your flour in there and just spread it out. And then now you've got pretty much a line. You've got your fish and the buttermilk, you got the flour, and then you got your batter. And what you're gonna do is dip it in each station and then put it in the frying pan, which we're gonna go prepare right now. Next up, you're gonna wanna get yourself a bowl or just a small pan like this. My nuggets are fairly small, so this is gonna be fine for me. And I'm gonna be using some canola oil. You can use peanut oil. Any type of oil that works for frying is personal preference, really. And then you're gonna want about a good, about an inch to two inches in there and just let that go on a low heat. Okay, so now you've got this nice line going. Take your fish from the, that were soaking in the buttermilk, put them in the flour, Put them in get like this, get a lot of flour on them. After that, you want to put them in here, and then pop them in the pop them in the oil, and let them cook for about four to five minutes until they're golden brown. All right, guys, make sure you're really careful with that hot oil. It just shot up and hit me right there. It does not feel good. Don't hit, get hot into you. Oh yeah, that mango reduction is looking good. Time to add some spices. First, depending on how much of a spice person you are, if you like a little spicy, I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper. We're gonna add about three bay leaves. Add those bay leaves in, just like that. We're gonna add some cumin, and then some cloves, okay? Now we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 to 20 minutes, and then we'll take it out and see how it tastes. Also, if you think you put a little bit too much spice in, you can just add a little bit of heavy whipping cream, which is what I'm going to do. Alright, right, Jovi, try it out. Wow. How is it? That's so good. It's good? Is the mango it has sauce like good? A sweet flavor to it. Awesome. Awesome. The mix of like sweet, crunchy, and savory all together. It's such, so good. Oh, awesome. Thanks. Glad you like it. But yeah guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I had a great time filming it and I had a great time eating those nuggets. Make sure to try that recipe if you catch some fish. That's gonna be it for today. As always, thanks for watching.